Mr. Pregent, don't, don't we need to at this point, though, um, support people like the Kurds more robustly than we have under either Obama or so far under the Trump administration? Well, we do. Uh, the, the Kurdish Peshmerga of Iraq have been an ally well, you know, since the beginning, since we entered Iraq. We actually entered Iraq in Kurdish areas. Um, and they've been instrumental to not only defeating ISIS, but also defeating al-Qaeda uh, during the surge effort and the initial phase of the Iraq war. Uh, what's happened, um, unfortunately, under this administration is our Kurdish allies uh, have been abandoned. Uh, after President Trump's October 13th speech declaring that the IRGC in its entirety would be, would be declared a, a terrorist organization based on its support for Qasem Soleimani's Quds Force, uh, within, within hours, Qasem Soleimani used his Shia militias and they had access to U.S. tanks and equipment to move on Kurdish spaces. We should have done something about that. It sent a loud message to our Kurdish allies, but it also sent a loud message to Qasem Soleimani. I think it also just, just I mean, it hurts our, uh, our, our national prestige when you have people like Soleimani that have a lot of American blood on their hands. Uh, attacking an ally like the Kurds with American equipment left over from, you know, the, the Iraq campaign. Um, you know, we've got to do a lot, a lot better than that. 